Alright, let us continue. Smell that squirrel Neil ran over from way to here now. Do I want to go check? Well, let's go find out first. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with the headquarter? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. So we leave. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where did you find that? I thought you should me. Temporarily unshed. <laughs> oh, ain't I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them there. And in the basement too. Ah. Hmm. Alright, resume sh <laughs> Now what? What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. I feel like these are all hints that I'm missing <laughs> completely. So I can't do anything with that. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. <laughs> Shh, let them sleep. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Turn up your giant doofus. My bad. I thought I was turning it off. Let us talk. Stand still. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Ah, oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Mm. 
You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. I'm sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me his, this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and move on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. I don't know why he's talking to the headquarters. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Whoa, that music. <laughs> Apparently during his luth, youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder. If the side effects were intended to merely... If the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with, and in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been insignificant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer the, his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. The platypus. Come on. 
You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm gonna... I'm going out to get some fresh air. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgot my coffee. <laughs> Beta blocker. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. <clears throat> it smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill either. It smells! I know, it's your fault for writing it over. But we can trigger his memories! While he's unconscious with smell! What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. <laughs> Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it to stimulate the bridge to his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual information on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome! Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. <laughs> Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> they aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Oh, that's fantastic. You're always thinking, oh god, there's gonna be like some dead body hidden away somewhere. This this big twist at the end. That's what the smell is. That would have been horrible. <laughs> huh. Deja vu. Where's the twist gonna be with that? <clears throat> this whole thing is a memory. Car's not smoking anymore, at least. The kind of things this job gets me into. I think I just clicked on what an ending could possibly be, and I don't want to spoil it if it is. Anyway, it's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It at least make its odor controllable. All I'm going to say is I've got a feeling that car crash is significant to the story. <clears throat> Where are you going? I... i got to take a leak outside. <laughs> Really? The toilet's just over there. We saw it before. He's lying. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Receipt valve container. 
Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Ugh. Oh, I'm waiting to see if this is what I think. Here he comes. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. <laughs> what? Yeah, dudette. I've been feeling retro. Anyway. Hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... We got someone dying back there. What the potato is he up to? What's with vegetables and swear word words with this? I've got no time to check on him now. So, when we get to that exact point, I'll send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Let's go. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it into outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? <coughs> Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition's been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been disabilized. Get out! What? Get out of this memory now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize too soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under the state, all of our work will be reset. 
There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before, Johnny. Oh my freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Moment of truth. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Here we go. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you know there's something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. I missed it too. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Oh man, I can't believe I missed it. That's going to haunt me now until it comes up. What was it? Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You gotta take them there one day. Sheesh, the time overlaps getting out of hand. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. <laughs> You're really just laughing at it. Roadkill again. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. <laughs> I hope. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Ah, oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. <clears throat> well, this is the end of the road. 
And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit! Duh! We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! What's the mum gonna do? Oh no. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, holy shit. Ah. Oh. oh, and his mum kept calling him Joey the whole time. Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up! Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers, erase his memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't think she really called jo Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it.
Thank you.